All right, hello everyone, and welcome to uh, CS1302 Computer Science 2. Um, this is the the intro video f specifically for sections three and four for spring 2021. First off, a little about me. I am Dr. Lewis Baumstark. Um, a lot of people call me Dr. B. That's fine as well. Uh, my I, my office is TLC 2221. Uh, my email is Lewis B at West GA. Um, no face-to-face -face office hours this semester, uh, thanks to COVID. Um, however, I am very available. Feel free to email me. Um, we can chat over email. We can set up a Google meeting for face-to-face -face video, uh, or we can do uh, real-time chat using uh, Google Hangouts, uh, whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, just make sure you contact me when you have trouble. I, I I want to help. It's my job to help, but I can't do that until you come. You know, you contact me and let me know there are you're having trouble, your problems. Um, CS two is a difficult course, um, and you know you you need to use every resource at your your disposable disposal to get through it. And uh, I am one of the best resources for that. All right, a little bit about the course. Um, everything um, will always be posted to our Moodle uh, site. Um, make sure you go over the syllabus. Uh, let me know if you have any, the question, any questions with it. Um, structure of the class. Uh, our lectures will be Tuesday, Thursday. Sorry, I need to update that. Um, Attendance will be taken. Face masks are, are, are required. Um, and I should also put on here um, oops, that um, Tuesday is section four, and Thursday is face to face for section three. Um, so please come on your assigned day. Uh, on your unassigned day, you'll have uh, other things to do. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, there will be uh, supplemental instruction once per week. Um, it depends on your section number. So sections one and four um, will be on Wednesdays, 1230 to 120. Sections two and three uh, will be on Thursdays, 11 to 1150 with me. Um, grading. 2% is for attendance on your assigned day, uh, lecture days. 9% uh, at one each is the labs. And these are similar to the homework assignments you had in, in CS1. You can pretty much use all the, any, anything you, you need to, to get help. Uh, three projects worth 9, 10, and 10% overall uh, give you 29% give you of your, your grade that is and all that work must be done individually. Uh, three exams at 19% each must be done individually. There will not be an exam dropped. So all, all those will count. And then 3% will be your attendance or uh, participation in supplemental instruction. Uh, other things, no book, uh, late work will not be accepted. Um, must have had a, had a B or better in 1301 to be here. Um, and as I mentioned before, we will only have three exams total and we will not be dropping any of them. Um, what do we need to remember from 1301? Everything. So we build on the work of 1301. Um, and if there's still things you're rusty on, you should go back and review them now. Um, we assume you know everything uh, that was covered in 1301 and we will start uh, with new material from there. Um, we will not reteach you the 1301 material. Uh, overview of the, the topics. Unit 1, uh, we'll talk about version control with, with Git and a little bit of using the debugger. Exception handling, file I.O., these two things often go together, um, as well as something called regular expressions. Unit 2, we'll look at more advanced tools that object-oriented programming uh, provides um, that let us do some, some interesting things, specifically inheritance, polymorphism, abstract classes, interfaces, and generics. Uh, unit three, we'll, we'll do some graphical user interface development. That's what GUI stands for. And we'll also look at a, a very specific data structure called a map. 
um, one of the, the fundamental data structures in computer science. This is the software for this course. Um, Java Development Kit 14, Eclipse, several Eclipse plugins, JUnit 5, which comes with Eclipse, um, and Scene Builder, which is um, a free download external to, to Eclipse. Um, you're welcome to install all of this on your home machine if you like. However, everything is in uh, the CS Labs, and as uh, and now that you're in 1302, you have access to TLC 1117 um, if you just request that from Alex. You're also encouraged to use the virtual lab. Um, this is a, an online, actually it is a, a desktop server of sorts. So we, you connect to this, this remote server from your home computer, gives you a window on your screen that looks like a Windows desktop, because it is, it is a Windows desktop. Um, and it has all of the software that we use in class uh, available to you. That is my recommendation as the best thing to do. Um, you use that and you avoid all the issues of installation and troubleshooting of the software stack we use. Do be aware that when you're using Virtual Lab, um, if you log off, you lose all your work. If you experience a power outage or your network connection or something goes down, you have 30 minutes to log back in and, and get your work before it's, before it's erased. Um, Long short, if you're using Virtual Lab, make sure you save your work to Moodle often. Uh, and that way you're, you're guaranteed that it's always saved in a backup spot. Uh, very quickly, we'll, we'll start using uh, remote repository services like Bitbucket. That's another avenue for, uh, for backing up your work uh, periodically. Um, I do not require you to install the software on your local machine, um, but if you want to, Lab Zero is available to tell you how to do that. And Lab Zero is not graded, it's, it's optional to you. Um, that said, if you install on your own machine, I will not be doing troubleshooting. Um, it's not something I have time to do. Um, you can talk to students in CSX and maybe they can help, um, but for the most part, you're going to be on your own. That's why I recommend using TLC 1117 or the Virtual Lab. Uh, how are we going to, to do uh, course delivery? Um, roster will be sp split in half. Uh, section 3 will come face to face on Thursdays. Sorry, I need to. And section. F sorry, section 4 will. Yeah, section 3 is on Thursdays, section 4 is on Tuesdays. Um, on the days you're scheduled to go be remote, um, pay attention to all the material posted. Usually there will be a video posted, um, as well as possibly some in-class activities. You are to do all of that. Uh, don't wait uh, until the next class period because I will not go over it again. Uh, I will ask, answer questions you may have, but it is your responsibility to keep up with that material. Um, I am not going to be doing the same material on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, it's going to be new material every day because of the, um, the amount of stuff we have to go over. So you are responsible for keeping up on your off day. Um, and everything will be on Moodle, so that's, that should work out for you. Um, sorry, I'm, I thought I had fixed the, the slides from the, that I copied over from Dr. Yang. Um, so everything is done from her perspective. Uh, the course of delivery uh, videos, uh, she and I are going to make lecture videos and post them on YouTube. Basically, we're alternating every other uh, class period. Um, she'll do one, I'll do one, and, and vice versa, so that we're not doubling up too much work. Um, we will try to uh, put uh, an index in them so that you can skip to relevant parts. Um, and not have to wade through everything, but you should watch the entire video um, sooner or later. Um, closed captioning is also available. Um, I don't know if Dr. Yang will do it, but I will also post a link to download um, a, a full copy of the video to your own machine if you like. I recommend only doing that when you're on campus, though. Some of these are quite large. Um, I just recorded one a few minutes ago that was, well, you know, nearly 700 megabytes. Um, so don't do that uh, unless you're on campus. Uh, SIs, the supplemental instructions, this is just a, a nightmare this year uh, because of COVID. Uh, the rooms will not hold uh, the full uh, 24 people we need in, 
uh, in each SI section. So we're going to make it optional for you to attend. If you show up, the room will hold up to 12 people um, and feel free to come. I think most most weeks, if you show up, you'll, you're, you'll get a seat. Just know that, that I might have to turn you away at the door um, in, in the worst case. Um, regardless of whether you come face to face or whether you choose to, to, to do the SIs remotely, um, you, you are expected to complete it um, in a timely fashion. I will be checking them and you will be, um, you know, you will potentially lose points if you haven't a attempted the, the problem set. Um, assuming the technology works out, I will try to be online during the, the SI sessions um, for any remote students who want to ask me questions during that time. Um, I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll, I will do my best. Uh, for Dr. Yang's SI section, she'll tell you what, you know, what her plans are there um, at a later time. All right, uh, that finishes the introductory part of, uh, of today's lecture. Um, I have prepared a, a separate um, video that actually deals with the, the hands-on exercises that, that uh, we're going to do for the rest of today. So um, go do that now. Um, if you have questions about anything we've talked about um, in this intro or, or anything in the code along, please feel free to, to let me know. I, I will be glad to help um, anytime I can. So, all right, thanks, and y'all have a good day.